trigonometry, addition and subtraction theorems, number one. We have to prove that the cos of A minus B equals the cos of A cos of B plus the sine of A sine of B. And part two, the cos of A plus B is the cos of A cos of B minus sine A sine B. Now here you'll see I've drawn a unit circle. That is a circle of radius one. And to get these points here, P cos A sine A, you can see the X value X over one will be the cos of A and Y over one will be the sine of A. And similarly, the X value will be cos B here and the Y value will be sine B there. All right, so what we're going to do now is work out the distance PQ using the distance formula. Right, well, here it is. Uh, PQ squared is cos A minus cos B, that's the X values, squared, plus sine A minus sine B, all squared. Now, removing the brackets here, we get cos squared A minus 2 cos A cos B plus cos squared B. On the other side, we get sine squared A minus 2 sine A sine B plus sine squared B. So to get the final result, we'll see that this cos squared A, I'll just underline that, so you can see a bit more clearly that, sorry, cos squared A, that one, and the sine squared A added together gives you one, and cos squared B plus sine squared B also gives you one. So one plus one is that's where the two is coming from. And then we take out minus two here, this one here, as a common factor, and we're left inside cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Okay, next we'll work out PQ squared a different way using the cosine formula. And we'll see that um, this PQ squared, right, that one there can be got by saying 1 squared plus 1 squared equals 2 minus 2 times 1 times 1 times the cos of the angle between. Now the angle between is going to be the difference of A minus B. A minus B will give you that little angle there in the triangle uh, POQ. Right? And then of course we get 1 squared plus 1 squared is going to be just 2. Right? And that just underline that again. There's your 2 in there. Okay, and then of course this is just minus 2. All that, all that there becomes minus 2 cos A minus B. Now, of course, when you see that PQ squared equals this and PQ squared, Q squared equals this as well, then these, this will cancel out with that. Okay, cancel out with that one. And, of course, the minus 2s will cancel out and you get cos A minus B equals cos A cos B plus sine A sine B, which was the desired result. The second part of the proof is a lot easier. Now, given that cos A minus B equals cos A cos B plus sine A sine B, we let B equal minus B. So I've replaced that B there with the minus B there and replace it here and here. Now, this obviously becomes cos of A plus B, this is our left-hand side, but we know the cos of minus B is the cos of B. I mean, but we know the sine of minus B is minus the sine of B. Let's say that minus sine comes at the front and this becomes positive, and that gives you the, the other result. Cos A plus B equals cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.